And one of the Virgin Islands' leading rap artists, Monet Richardson, recently launched her EP at the Le Petit Bar and Lounge. Sophie B of JTV Hot Trends was at the launch, and she had a chat with Monet about her EP titled Eora, meaning all of the above. <laughs> Trends, the big album release party, and we're here with the woman of the hour, Miss Monet Richardson. How you doing? I'm feeling very excited. I can see that you look hot, girl. Now you started off. Now I know you from when you were so high. I remember you going to school and being with it was Vietnam soldiers, hanging with those guys. Tell us about your beginnings. Um, as you said, like I started out in a guy group called Vietnam. It was actually me and another female, um, Dalnik, and we just they started the group, and I was like, yeah, like I could rap too, and that was basically how I really pushed myself to like start writing lyrics because I knew I was a good writer in terms of like in school writing creative stories and stuff. So I was like. I like to dance, I like to perform, I feel like I could put pen to paper and be like the entire package. So that's where it really started and then eventually like the group um, died down and I decided to go solo because my passion was still there in the music, I still wanted to pursue it, so then I went solo. Nice. Now your rapping took you over to uh, the mainland, um, you are studying, is it dance you're studying? What is it you're studying over overseas? Okay, a lot of people really do think that I'm away at school studying dance or music, but I recently graduated from UNC Chapel Hill in May, and I graduated in a, with a bachelor's in biology, so now, yeah, so I'm a scientist. Yeah, you are. Yeah, I, um, I currently work in a lab at UNC for the grad school. Basically, we do research in terms of um, how alcohol affects the liver, so we're trying to find different kind of drug targets for in, or in, terms of, in terms of making alcoholic diseases reversible or to protect people from alcoholic diseases. If you happen to meet a producer, let's say you're in, in Atlanta, Las Vegas, and you meet a producer and they're like, well, why should we sign you? Do you think by saying, listen, I'm all of the above, do you think that that's what they want to hear? How would you go about selling yourself to that producer? A lot of times right now in the industry, they kind of don't, they want to put you in a box, so they don't necessarily want to hear that you could do a lot of different things. They kind of want to be able to say, okay, you're a pop, you're a pop artist, like you just make pop music. Okay, you're rap, you just do rap. But I feel like, as a rapper, I've seen like Nicki Minaj do it, for example. She did a lot of different styles and was able to reach out to a lot of different markets, except that I don't want to go pop. That's the difference. In, in terms of me, I'm within one genre. It's rap, it's hip hop. There's different styles, different subgenres of rap and hip hop. So I'm going to give you different levels of hip hop. I'm going to give you conscious because a lot of people need something to just chill to, something to relate to. I can talk about relationships, I can talk about social issues. And then there's sometimes people don't want to think a lot, don't want to sit down and really analyze lyrics. People just want to hear something that's catchy, a catchy beat, something they could dance to. Like then I give you the same type of like the same lyricism but I'm relate, relaying it a different way right. every time for someone else to relate to it in a different way. So it's Well, thank you so much for having a word with us, Monet. I think you're doing a fantastic job. I wish you lots of luck with the EP and keep on doing what you're doing. Anybody you want to thank, shout out? Yeah, I want to thank God first and foremost for blessing me. I want to thank my mom who's here right now. I want to thank my dad, my mom's boyfriend who's also like a second dad to me. I want to thank my friends. Oh, my team is everything to me. Marissa, Travis. Travis had a huge impact on this tape for me. Yeah, he's like my right hand man when it comes to music, when it comes to branding. I'm like, Travis, 
what do you think? Like before I do a lot of things, I'm like, Travis, what do you think? And I just really value his opinion. And um, I also want to thank Clive and Chur Churchy for um, allowing me to use this place. I want to thank you guys for coming. I want to thank everybody else who came out. I want to thank Lincoln Ward, who was yeah. the engineer. He engineered all the tracks except for One Night, which was engineered by the producer in Atlanta yeah. um, called King Wade. So I want to thank the producer. So Mike Martin, King Wade, thank Lincoln Ward again, and just everyone who's supporting the tape so far. Like Everyone's been buying the tape, and I'm really appreciative. All right. Thank you so much, Money. It was definitely a pleasure being here with you, and I wish you nothing but success. Thank you so much. All right, it's all about JTV Hot Trends. We definitely had a blast here at Le Petit Sports Bar. For the big album release, make sure you cop an album. Oh, how can we cop a, a, a copy? Um, you could just hit me up on Facebook. My Facebook is Monet Richardson. You can also send me a DM, or you can just, um, I would prefer Facebook. I don't really want to put my number out on here. Oh, <laughs> on Facebook. Yeah, hit me up on Facebook. Yeah. Okay, good stuff. As I said, it was a pleasure being here. It's all about JTB Hot Trends. Until we come your way again, this is where we're going to say bye-bye. And you can catch the full episode of JTV's Hot Trends with Sophie B at 8 p.m. on Wednesdays and 9 p.m. on Fridays right here on JTV Channel 55.